So to return to Ecuador's offer of political asylum to the WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, joining us now one of his leading supporters, Vaughan Smith, and the Times columnist David Aronovich. And Vaughan Smith, you're a generous man because you, you've lost money now. I mean, he's, he's gone into that embassy and um, down goes your 20,000 quid's worth of bail. I'm not sure I've lost it yet. That's still to be decided. There, there will be a court process. Um, and he didn't leave when he was staying with me, and so maybe I won't lose it all. Uh, David Aronovich, you, you were pretty uh, angry in the Times today. I mean, you said, well, you made this interesting contrast between Sweden and Ecuador. Follow it up. Well, I mean, Ecuador is a place which Human Rights Watch says actually does persecute journalists and has an appalling record uh, in uh, current human rights and so on. So, you know, actually puts uh, uh, journalists in prison for criticising El Presidente uh, uh, under, the so uh, under the sorts of laws it has available. Uh, Sweden, by contrast, is, I think most of us would agree, one of, I mean, Wallander and Stieg Larsson uh, notwithstanding, one of the most liberal um, and uh, uh, pleasant places that you could imagine fetching up. And if I had to be tried anywhere in the world, I think it would rather, I would rather it was in Sweden than almost anywhere else. What do you make of this? We are in a most extraordinary and bizarre situation in which his choices seem to be a life lived in Latin America or clearing his name in Sweden, where he hasn't even been well, tried yet. The, the Ecuadorian government have tried to resolve this. Um, they've, they've invited the Swedes, and it's an interview that's required. That's the, where it's got to in, league, in, in the Swedish law. They've invited him to interview him there and, in, in the Ecuadorian embassy, and, and they've refused. And uh, yet they have gone to interview a, an alleged murderer in, in Serbia. Um, so um, I, I'm not, you know, I, I, I'm not entirely convinced myself that, um, uh, that the Swedes are, are necessarily solely interested in, um, in this legal process, in, in the rights of these women. What, you, what convinces you that anybody is any longer really interested in Julian Assange in America? They've made no request to the Swedes. They show no sign of making a request to the Swedes. Why not just get well, on with it? I think the issue is that I'm convinced, because I know Julian quite you know, very well, that he believes that his life is threatened and that he will be sent to America. And it seems to be that that the Ecuadorians have responded to. Um, and they have. They're the only people who have actually looked at this issue. Nobody else has, really. Um, and they've concluded that his human rights are, 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 are vulnerable and, and taken the decision and given him asylum. That, that surely is a fair point, David Aronovich. If, if he's in real fear of going to the United States, and they have every reason probably to lock him up, although, interestingly, we don't know of anybody who's ever been killed by WikiLeaks, um, but what's your response? Well, I think, I mean... <laughs> There is no sign that the United States seeks to have Julian Assange extradited either from this country, which of course has an extradition treaty with America, let alone from Sweden. Uh, that process would have to go through a whole new legal process and might very well take in the European Court of Human Rights if it was felt that actually his rights were uh, in any kind of danger uh, over there. As for the Ecuadorians, I'm not sure they'd understand what human rights were if they came and smacked them over the back of the head. I don't think that's what they're interested in at all. I think they're interested in putting two fingers up to the Americans as a, as a populist left government would want to do. And I think it probably plays quite well with a section of the Ecuadorians. And anybody who saw the interview that, um, that Julian Assange gave for Russia Today, which is the state-owned uh, 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 TV company for Russia, with Rafael Correa, will understand the kind of, you know, the weird chemistry that existed between the two of them at that particular moment. And I think Correa sort of, I think Correa's gone off on one, frankly, and actually left us with a really really significant problem, because there's no way that our government can back down. Uh, and now we're told that Julian Assange will appear at the front of the building on Sunday, I gather, in order to address the crowd. And we were speculating about that, and Vaughan very kindly offered the suggestion that he might actually address the crowd from the balcony, <laughs> which has all kinds of Latin American connotations. Well, I mean, th 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 this is all very well, but th the chances are this is going to go on for years. Yeah, I, I think it may. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I was obviously, as a, as a friend of Julian, disappointed that there seems to be no give with the British government. They seem adamant that, they're, uh, that they, they want to send him to Sweden. I think that's unfortunate. I think that um, it, there's an opportunity to reflect here. I mean, uh, we, um, you know, I... I, well, I William Hague did not look like a man who was reflecting. Like man I mean, reflecting on it, he's true. pretty adamant. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and in law, he seems to be absolutely well, Ford, Ford, 100 percent in. Ford's been a very good friend to Julian Assange. Now, I have absolutely no idea whether the charges that relate to incidents that happened two years ago this week, this week, uh, in Stockholm, are true or not. I, I absolutely have no idea. But the fact is, 
is that there are complaints there laid by complainants who also have rights to see justice done, which is not talked about, I think, sufficiently. And I cannot see why Julian Assange cannot go to Sweden and face those charges and face the trial in a democratic country and see what happens. I think the danger to him is very small. And we have to proceed upon the basis that, that the rule of law actually should be upheld in that way. Otherwise, what are the consequences for the rest of us? I, I, would, I would like to add to that that um, uh, these women haven't actually accused him of rape. They went to the police and the police then uh, uh, used this information and then came up with it. The charges were dropped and then they were re-emerged. Re, 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 re and I, I, I don't know, I think, I think quite a lot of people are, are, are a little bit dubious by this. Well, well, the charges, I, 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 all the charges weren't actually dropped. One of the charges was dropped for 10 days, the other was not. David Aronovich mm. and Vaughan Smith both, thank you very much thank indeed. You.